Exploring conditional formatting. We've already learned that charts and sparklines give us a way to visualize our data that's in Excel. Conditional formatting is another way to visualize your data. For example, you can color code cells based on their value. In this lesson, we're going to learn more about conditional formatting. In this lesson, we'll learn how to create rules to highlight cells, explore the top and bottom rules, apply conditional formatting presets, create and manage conditional formatting rules, and then clear conditional formatting. Take a look at our worksheet here. We want to apply conditional formatting to this worksheet by color coding cells to find out who is selling more than the required quota. While we could just look at the data to find out, it is much easier to use color coding to highlight the data. That makes finding it much easier. To do this, we're going to select our data. Next, we go to the Home tab and click on Conditional Formatting drop-down arrow. Select Highlight Cells Rules. Select if the conditional formatting rule you want to apply will require the data to be greater than, less than, between or equal to. Notice that you can also apply highlighting by finding text, dates, or you can even highlight duplicate values in the worksheet. We're going to choose greater than. Next, specify the value. Any other value that is greater than this value will be highlighted. Then choose how you want to highlight the cells. Click OK when you're finished. As you can see, all cells with a value greater than 23 are highlighted in red. When you apply the top or bottom formatting, you instruct Excel to highlight cells that hold the top values in your selected data, or hold the bottom values in your selected data. To apply top-bottom rules, go to the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, and select Top and Bottom Rules. Select if you want Excel to highlight the selected cells that have the top 10 values, top 10%, bottom 10 or bottom 10% values, above average or below average values. Let's choose the top 10%. If you want, you can adjust the percentage up or down. You can also change the color, which highlights the cells. Click OK when you're finished. This is still currently showing the same formatting as the first one that we selected. This is because we still have that formatting applied. To remove the first formatting, click on Conditional Formatting, and then go to Clear Rules and Clear Rules from Selected Cells. Now we can go Conditional Formatting, Top Bottom Rules, and Top 10% again. Click OK, and you can see that the top 10% of values have been highlighted. Conditional formatting presets give you additional ways to create visualizations of your data using colors, bars, and icons. These can not only help you visualize your data, they can also dress up your worksheets and make them look more attractive. To apply a conditional formatting preset, start out by selecting your cells just as we did earlier. First, we need to remove the rules from the cells that we've selected. Now click on the conditional formatting drop-down again. Here we have three different presets. As you can see, there are three different types of presets, data bars, color scales, and icon sets. Data bars are bar graphs that appear in cells. The bar graph represents the value in the cell. Color scales change the background of a color cell based on its value. Icon sets adds groups of symbols, ratings, or indicators to cells. We've already selected the data in our worksheet. Now we want to start applying conditional formatting presets to that data. We're going to start out by applying data bars to the cells in the worksheet. To do this, go to the data bars section here. Select the style of data bars that you want to apply. As you can see, you can choose different colored fills. You can also choose gradient or solid fill. We've chosen the green solid fill, as you can see here. Notice there's now a bar graph in each cell that we've selected. The bar graph represents the value inside the cell. We can easily look at the bar graphs to see the cell with the highest value as well as the lowest value. In addition to bar graphs, you can also apply color scales to the selected cells. Let's remove the formatting we just applied. Go to the conditional formatting and choose color scales. Choose a color scale that you want to apply to the selected cells. A gradient color scheme is used for background colors. Each cell is assigned a background color based on its value. For example, have a look at the green cells here. We notice that the lightest green cells have a middle green color, but then the cells that have dark green values such as 36 have higher values. Let's remove this formatting now. Icon sets allow you to add symbols, ratings, or indicators to the selected cells. To apply an icon set to our data, once again, we select the cells we want to use. 
Now go to Conditional Formatting and click on Icon Sets. You can add directional icons to your cells. These icons will use the direction to show you the value of each cell. You can also add shapes. Shapes will use color to represent a cell. Indicators will add symbols or flags to your cells, and the indicator will be assigned based on the value of the cell. Ratings will add a visual rating such as stars based on the value of each cell. Let's add a rating icon to each cell. As you can see, Excel places bars in each cell. The more bars that appear in dark blue, the higher the value of the cell. Now let's choose a directional icon set to place in our data instead. The arrows point straight up are placed in cells with higher values. If the arrow points straight down, the cell has a lower value as compared to other cells. If you have a yellow arrow that points down, it symbolizes that data is between the lowest and the highest value and it's on the low side. It points up if it's on the higher side. If it points straight, it means it's in the middle. So far in this course, we've used predefined conditional formatting rules. These may be all you ever use, and they may work perfectly for your data. However, there may be times when Excel's predefined conditional formatting rules aren't what you need for your data. You may want to apply conditional formatting, but the available rules just won't work. Excel 2013 gives you the capability to create your own conditional formatting rules. First of all, let's clear the rules that we have. Now, to create a new rule, go to Conditional Formatting and click on New Rule. You'll then see the new formatting rule dialog box. Start out by selecting a rule type. As you can see, you can choose to format all cells based on their values, format only cells that contain a value, format only top or bottom ranked cells, format only values that are above or below average, format only unique or duplicate values, or use a formula to determine which cells to format. We're going to choose the format, the top ranked values. As you can see, we want to only highlight the top two values. Click the format button to apply formatting to the cells that meet the criteria. Select your formatting options and then click OK. Then click OK again. Your formatting rule is then applied to the selected cells. Once you apply conditional formatting rules to selected data, you can then edit, delete, or apply new rules using the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box. To access this dialog box, go to Conditional Formatting and then Manage Rules. In the Show Formatting Rules for drop down menu, select what rules you want to see. We have chosen Current Selection, however, you can also choose the worksheet as well as other worksheets in the workbook. Next there are buttons to create a new rule, edit an existing rule, or delete a rule. If you want to edit or delete a rule, click on the rule and then click on the appropriate button. Click apply to apply any changes and then click OK. If you want to remove conditional formatting from your data, go to conditional formatting and then clear rules. You can then choose to clear the rules from the selected cells, the entire worksheet, or if applicable, the table or the entire pivot table.